Hi everyone, how are you? It is B, and welcome to Psychic Sounds by B. We are here today to go over your weekly reading for the week commencing April 2nd. And we will do another weekly reading, and then I'll start up with the dailies again. All right, I will wait to the end to do all the housekeeping, but we're gonna get right into the reading here. Sorry, I've got sage crumbs everywhere. <laughs> All right, what do we got going on? We're going to pull one major arcana to see the major theme for the week. All right, let's go ahead and pray over the deck. All right. Here is the major theme for the week. Now let's pull some subterranean energies, as I call them. Brandon is active, so she may come over and say hi. How about you lay down, Brandon? Yeah, you lay down, Brandon. Okay, let's go ahead and pray over the deck. First card, second card, third card, fourth, fifth, and sixth card. And we will clarify if we need to clarify, okay? Hope you guys can see that pretty good. I'm hoping. Let's see, maybe down a little bit further. Again, once I get my uh, business office done, um, you'll be able to see things a lot better, okay? But this is what we have for now. So what are we opening up this uh, next week with? Queen of Swords. Uh, this is an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra person. Very determined, I'm hearing. And remember when I say I hear, I see, I feel, I sense, that does mean that I am getting a download. So I'm hearing this person is very determined. You may be that person if you have air in your chart. Um, demanding answers, demanding clarity, demanding action. Um, I'm, he I'm also hearing or organizational skills, putting lists together, um, checking the box. So checking off several boxes, like there's 50 items to do and someone's checking off on all those boxes. Uh, there's great skill associated with this person as well. They have great skill. They have great communication abilities. They cut through the BS. You know, the Queen of Swords is someone who, you know, has kind of given her heart, given her time, given her energy, even given her money to someone, but she got hurt. And now she's just, she's kind of holding back a little bit, but she's still very welcoming. She's just a little bit more discerning about what she brings into her sphere. So some of you might be dealing with that person or you could be that person. Oh, the five of cups reversed. You know, it's so interesting that someone knows that um, someone really hurt somebody. Someone really did a number on someone. Someone was, you know, shafted. Someone was thrown under the bus. Someone was uh, scapegoated, utilized, but not appreciated. And so now this particular Queen of Swords is kind of welcoming that energy in and, and they may be having a conversation with someone and someone is saying, well, they were never treated fairly. They were never, they were never given a chance. They have so much skill. They're so intelligent. They're so smart. And the Queen of Swords is agreeing with that. She's like, I'm welcoming this energy in. I want to know what's happening here. What do you know? That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing somebody is saying, what do you know? What do you know about this situation? Can you fill me in? Where's the evidence? 
So I am feeling that. But someone is getting over a major regret, a major loss, a major pain. Um, major pain. You guys remember that movie? <laughs> major pain? Oh, I might watch that movie. I need a good laugh. But, um, but that is what is coming through here. Okay, something happened. There is an I'm sorry. I wish I could have done more for you. Or someone is feeling that way about someone. They may not say it, but they're feeling it. And this this Queen of Swords is like, I, I kind of feel this energy coming through the ethers. I feel this energy coming through the air. So they know. Okay, so someone knows. What's the next card? Oh my goodness. Someone may feel trapped. They may feel depressed. They may feel as though they haven't been able to perform in a manner in which they wish to perform. And it's kind of like they're stuck. They they have to get over themselves. They have to get over their mental mind effery for them to be able to offer something to someone. They got a lot of past issues, a lot of things that were said to them that may have held on for a really, really long time, I'm hearing. And it's like, it, it kind of, it's kind of layers of, I'm hearing discredited. Someone was discredited. Um, but it, but it's layers of, you know, I don't, I don't feel like I'm worth it. I don't, ever, no matter how hard I try, it, it always backfires on me. Um, I need help. I'm hearing someone say, I need help. And this Queen of Swords might be the person saying, okay, you can come in. I will help you straighten all of this out. So the Queen of Swords is saying, I'll help you straighten everything out. Be strong. Okay. What's the next card? Yeah, the wait is over. You know, I think someone was dealing with some issues of value. Someone was de dealing with issues of money. Someone was dealing with issues of waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And they just couldn't wait anymore. And they were like, look, I, I got to take care of this now. I've got to do something now. And also remember that there was that energy or there still is that energy of Jupiter conjuncting Chiron. So this may have to do with healing, healing finances or healing how one values another person and not waiting any longer. You know, sometimes people, they need this validation. They need this validation to say, hey, you know, um, you're doing a good job. You're doing a great job. You're worth it. You know, that needs to come from within. That can't come from without. It may come from without, but if it's not within, it's not going to stick. It's not going to stick. This could also be someone trying to decide what to do with their money as well, I'm hearing. Do I put that money here? Do I put that money there? What do I do? I feel like I'm I'm a little bit wobbly right now, so I need to find out where to put my money, where to put my efforts, and where to put my time. Seven of Wands reversed. No longer fighting. It's like that song by, is it REO Speedwagon? I can't fight this feeling anymore. I've forgotten what I've started fighting for. Take the, take these oars, pull the ship into the shore forever. So some of you might, um, might identify with that song, um, can't fight this feeling anymore. So there's this feeling of waiting. There's this feeling of regret. There's this feeling of being trapped. There's this feeling of wanting to talk to somebody, wanting to have a conversation with somebody about how somebody was devalued or how somebody was used and abused. And the thing about it is, is it's, it's getting the best of them. Something is getting the best of somebody because they can't fight the feeling anymore. They can't fight keeping this within. They have to get it out. They have to talk to someone about this. And that's what I feel. This might be counselor energy. Okay, counselors, psychologists, psychiatrists, all of that. This is like 
someone needs to let something out that they've been holding on to and waiting for. But in the end, you are the answer you seek. I mean, that's what this is saying to me. What's the final card? Four of Swords reversed. It's time to take action. You know, it's so interesting. It's It feels to me like someone has been hanging on or someone has not or is done being patient. They're no longer going to wait. And the thing about it is, is that universe God is coming in and is saying, then take action. Stop being on hiatus. Stop sequestering yourself. Stop isolating yourself. Stop just, just praying and meditating. I'm not saying you stop praying and meditating altogether, but it's like you have to put action behind what your intentions are. This is also the discovery of some sort of deception that someone has discovered, but they're not talking about it right now. So someone has discovered some sort of deception and they're like, oh, but now is not a good time. Now is not a good time to let that out. But their, their internal self is saying, how long can I hold on to this? How long am I going to be able to keep this up? Okay, that's what I hear. So what is all this culminating into as a major arcana energy? The world completing the cycle. So for some of you out there, it really is time to complete the cycle. It truly is. And it's time to gain more control of your life. Now, if that is you talking with someone, is if that is you going to a counselor or someone coming to you for counseling or advice, then that's what it is. But you can't stay isolated forever. You can't, you know, we're humans. We're all built to, to have friendships and relationships with people. And that's what I see coming in here. So it's, it's time to complete some sort of cycle of holding something in. Someone is holding something in and maybe somebody needs to talk to someone else or, you know, do something to release that energy. I really feel like I am going to go ahead and title this Can't Fight This Feeling Anymore. Okay, because this is what it feels like to me. Someone cannot fight um, what they've been holding on onto on the inside anymore. It, it has to be dealt with. Okay. All right, guys, that is your weekly reading for this uh, upcoming week. I will also post next week's reading as well. I wish all of you the best. Much light, much love, many blessings, and catch on the flip side.